code on the left is confusing, the code on the right tells a story. Let's start by looking at a piece of code that is very common for beginners. We see things like x equals to 10, y equals to 5, and z equals to x plus y. For names, we might see a1 equals to John and a2 equals to Do. While this code works perfectly fine, it's not very clear. What do x, y, and z represent? Are they prices, counts, or coordinates? Without more context, we have no idea. This style is often carried over from mathematics, but in programming, clarity is far more important than brevity. Now, let's look at another way to write the exact same logic. Instead of x, we have item price equals to 10. Instead of y, shipping cost equals to 5. The calculation becomes total cost equals to item price plus shipping cost. Suddenly, the code tells a story. It's immediately obvious what these variables are and what the calculation does. The same goes for the names. First name equals to John and last name equals to Doe are infinitely clearer than A1 and A2. Putting them side by side, the difference is night and day. The code on the left is confusing and requires you to guess or remember what each variable holds. The code on the right, the one that uses a descriptive coding style, tells a story. <laughs>